Good morning. This is Mrs. Hasmer, and today's lesson is on kinetic and potential energy. You're going to complete the assignment. We've been working on kinetic energy. Um, we say kinetic is for moving, and potential energy, that it has the potential to have energy. Okay, you're going to read the following. I'll read it to you. The universe runs on many types of energy. Mechanical energy is the energy of a movable object. Thermal energy is internal energy produced by the vibrations of a substance's molecules. Chemical energy is contained in the chemical bonds of molecules. And the type of energy that windmills generate is electrical energy, or electricity, which is produced by the movement of electrons between atoms. Each type of energy exists in two forms, kinetic energy and potential energy. Kinetic energy is the energy of motion, and potential energy is stored energy, or the energy of position or condition. A good example is a stretched rubber band. As a result of the condition of being stretched, energy is stored in the rubber band. When you release it, the potential energy is converted to kinetic energy as the rubber band snaps back. Okay, so mechanical, thermal, chemical, and electrical. And you're gonna answer the following. Identify each type of energy as chemical, electrical, mechanical, or thermal. Number one, the energy produced by a ball rolling on the floor. Number two, the energy contained in food molecules. Number three, the energy in an electrical outlet. And number four, the energy in a hot oven. Identify each example as representing kinetic energy or potential energy. Water held in a dam. Number two, a boulder on a cliff. Number three, ocean waves crashing on the shore. Number four, a person running down the street. Okay, if you like my channel, please subscribe. Thank you.